All right, everybody, good morning, and welcome to Sozen's Gadgets, where today I'll be reviewing the Soundpeats Mini Pro. The Soundpeats Mini Pro, a new earbud that will come out on Amazon in early February, and if you order it in the first week that it comes out, it'll be on sale for $39.99. Click the links in the video description to get your best deal. It'll be $59.99 MSRP after the first week. This is an outdoor phone call. We had a blizzard yesterday here in Boston, so you're looking at approximately 15 inches of snow. They, they were predicting a lot more than that. <laughs> so we got away lucky by only getting about 15. These have four microphones up from two microphones that were in the mini, the original mini. And these are CDC 8 noise canceling, which is different from the uh, minis, which were not CDC 8 canceling. They were just AI noise reducing. Oh, there goes the big sheep in the background. That was actually pretty loud, and we'll see how the, the mini pros hold up to that kind of traffic noise in the background. All right, without further ado, that'll conclude my test of the microphones and the Soundpiece Mini Pro, and let's get on with the rest of the review. All right, let's jump right into the Soundpeat Mini Pro's sound profile and quality. So Soundpeat took what was great about the original Mini's sound profile, and they added Aptex Adaptive and Qualcomm's excellent QCC3040 chip. I'm going to admit something here. This is the first time on my channel that I'm going to adamantly state that you try earbuds with Aptex Adaptive or another high-res codec. In the Mini Pros, that Aptex Adaptive's flexible, low-latency, high-definition decoder makes a huge difference in the sound quality for the Mini Pros. Now, if your device doesn't support Aptex Adaptive, like my older Pixel 4, you will miss out on the big sound improvements these earbuds realized. What do I mean? Well, like the original Minis, the Pros deliver powerful detailed bass. Probably enough bass for all but the most die-hard sub-bass fans. The Mini Pros have powerful bass, they're just not a top five sub-bass earbud. Nor do they need to be. The Mini Pros sound signature is defined by solid bass, fantastic mid bass, excellent forward vocals and mids, and now using Aptex Adaptive, a significantly improved airiness to the sound and a better sound stage, plus highs that reach sparkling, sparkling peaks. In fact, if the music track that you're listening to doesn't have much bass, you might even find the highs to be a little too sparkly in the Soundpeats Mini Pros. And look, it's fun and easy to experience the improvements that Aptex Adaptive bring in terms of openness. On my OnePlus Pro, I simply select the Bluetooth connection, I tap it, and I can switch between the codecs, Aptex, AAC, and Aptex Adaptive. You'll hear the extra clarity and brightness that Aptex Adaptive brings, and it is really impressive for the price point of the, of the Soundpeats Mini Pros. Now, if your device is only Aptex compatible, expect the sound to be very, very similar to the original Soundpeat Minis, or basically just a little bit less open, a little bit less sparkling on the top end but it actually amounts to quite a big difference. For all the hip hop and rock and top 40 that I listen to on my Spotify playlist that I put in the comments, the Mini Pros are a vibrant, excellent listening experience, a thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable at this price point. So let me go over what else is new about the Mini Pros. Well, let's take a look at the design. I'm definitely liking the new silver accented Soundpeats logo. It really stands out, and I'm a fan of the black and silver color scheme. I'm not a Raiders fan. Maybe I used to be. And check out this two-tier design. It's very reminiscent of some other flagship earbuds on the market, but still retains that kind of mini sizing. They are bigger than the original Soundpeat Minis. Probably not possible to side sleep with the Soundpeat Mini Pros. They definitely protrude a little bit more from my ears and the touch controls are very sensitive. And I'll talk to them a little bit more about that later. And you do get something for that extra increased size, right? We're getting a big upgrade in the, in the Qualcomm QCC3040 chip, and you get several other features. So let me just run down all the features now, starting with the very small charging case. It is millimeters larger than the original mini case, both length, width, and depth. It's still very pocket friendly. It's got a good lid. It stays open. The buds are easy to get in and out. It's still got that intelligent one light color coded indicator for both charging status and the remaining battery life. Basically, when it's red, you need to recharge the case via the USB-C port. The Mini Pro can play for seven hours on a charge without ANC and five hours with ANC on, 
and the case can recharge the buds two additional times. The mics are in fact upgraded over the original. They now have four CVC noise canceling mics. And you heard the mics in the intro. So let me know what you think of their quality in the comments. I confirmed with Soundpeats as well that the Soundpeat Mini Pros have an IPX rating of five, and that is good enough for working out or getting caught in the rain. You can also watch videos with these without any synchronization issues, just like with the originals. Another awesome new feature of the Mini Pros is they have a low latency gaming mode with a very fast 60 millisecond response time. And without me spending a lot of time gushing over this kind of unexpected and excellent gaming feature, I can tell you that the Mini Pros with their mids forward sound profile, like we just talked about earlier, and the fast response time, they are an excellent gaming bud, even for first person shooters. And by the way, if you're not used to playing first person shooters with earbuds, take some time to focus on listening to your surroundings. You need to play as much with your ears as with your eyes to find your way in the maps and figure out what's going on. If you do, you will level up your game for sure using good gaming earbuds like these Soundpeats Mini Pros. On to the touch controls. So like most Soundpeats earbuds, the touch controls control just about everything, including the volume, toggling between A and C on, normal mode, and transparency mode. You can also toggle gaming mode on and off with the touch controls. And the Mini Pros do a good job of giving you audible feedback for next track, play, pause, and you get English spoken confirmation for the ANC mode and the gaming modes. Excellent touch controls, actually. I would point out that the one missing command is previous track. So just remember you can triple tap the right earbud to use the voice assistant instead to go to the previous track. It does work fine. And as far as touch sensitivity goes, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but in my opinion, the touch controls are very sensitive. You can gently touch these earbuds so gently that you won't hear or even feel the tap on your ears and they will respond. I mean, you can touch them harder, but you can touch them super gently. So that gives you a kind of possible downside, that gentle touch response, right? You might experience some phantom single taps, which would simply adjust the volume. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but they are very sensitive. They have Bluetooth 5.2, and that gives them a really strong connection once you remove the buds from the case to turn them on. And the Mini Pros will definitely work in mono mode with either earbud delivering both left and right audio in single earbud use. Now here's some information that I think a lot of people will love. The Soundpeats Mini Pros max volume is the second loudest earbuds I've ever tested on Sozang's gadgets. They are a blisteringly loud 110 decibels. That is the second loudest earbuds I've ever tested on Sozen's gadgets. Now, let me tell you about the Soundpeat Mini Pro's hybrid ANC and transparency modes. Soundpeat claims that the ANC will deliver 35 decibels in reduction in noise. And I eagerly fired up the ANC. I didn't notice any hissing with the ANC on. Music is very, very minimally impacted by just a slight pullback at the very top end of the high frequencies in Aptex adaptive mode. But most importantly, the hybrid ANC did a good job of eliminating low frequency sounds. On higher frequency sounds, they are less effective. For example, while listening to a movie on medium volume, I would say they block out a lot of my soundbar's bass, but they still leave a portion of the voices coming through. And those voices, when they do come through, they're losing a lot of the bass as well. They just sound oddly tinny, but I can still hear them. So still, for this price, I'd happily take the Soundpeat Mini Pros to the gym. I'd fire up the hybrid ANC, and I'd run my workout in a little bit of peace and quiet. So onto their transparency mode. It is, on the other hand, seemingly very good. Listening to that same movie over my soundbar, with transparency mode on, it sounds almost like I'm not wearing any earbuds. And then taking a real world example for these, I was at the gym with hybrid ANC on when I realized that my wife was trying to talk to me. I did a couple of long presses on the left earbud, got it into transparency mode, and I could hear her well enough to have a conversation with her. Usable transparency mode. Oh, and oh, by the way, I can use these earbuds with the hybrid ANC at the gym for my runs or my workouts for the whole time. They were definitely more stable than I thought given their new shape that extrudes more from my ears. They're still super light, so they still stay stable in my ears. 
Let me sum up the Soundpeats Mini Pros by saying that the original Minis were one of the nicest sounding earbuds for under 50 bucks. And the new Mini Pros take it up a notch in sound quality and they add some very awesome new features, including that hybrid ANC, transparency mode, they have better mics, and they have a really, really good gaming mode. I highly recommend picking these up in their first week on Amazon where their introductory price will be about $39. I'll leave links in the video description where you can click through and buy them there. And for that price, or really even for the MSRP of $59, the Soundpeat Mini Pros are a super easy recommendation. That's my review of the Soundpeat Mini Pros. Thanks for watching and see you next time on SoZen's Gadgets.